You know, the funny thing in life is that we never really get what we truly want, and if someone were to, then it wouldn't be enough for them. You can never truly paint a full picture of something in your head, but if you were, I don't think it would satisfy you. Your story has swept the nation. Would you care to tell it yourself? Where do you want me to begin? From the start. Never in my life did I think I was going to be jumping from the top floor of an apartment building. You wake up, you start your day, but you never expect that today is the day you're going to die. Even suicide, where you're contemplating the pros and cons of staying alive and ending it all, you have that little tick in your head that keeps telling you you're going to survive no matter what. And so, what was going through your head when you realised you were still alive? Pain. Excruciating pain. Despite the fact it was in my best intentions to be dead, I was actually quite relieved to be alive. But you can't remember why you did it? No, nope. it's been three months now, and I still have no idea. I have no recollection of the past few days prior. Nothing. But what did you do for a living? I worked for the government. I can't exactly remember what it was, but... It was something to do with numbers. I was always a numbers guy. Do you reckon your suicide was something to do with your job? I don't know, it's strange, it was something weird. I, it might have been something highly classified, it might have been something that I saw or heard that was just so horrifying I could never live with it anymore. So what happened after you jumped? I think I slip out of consciousness and the next thing I remember is that I'm being transported down a hospital corridor. Did you regret what you did that day? How can I have? I have no idea why I did it. It's just all a blank space in my mind. Police come round, ask me about a gun they found on the table next to a glass of whiskey. But I never recall owning a gun. Do you think you might have purchased a gun the day before you attempted suicide, so you can't remember it? Well, I guess so, yeah. I must have had a couple of scotches, take the gun to my head, but clearly jumping is the easier option. And so you're in a hospital for a month? Yeah, 37 days. According to the doctors, it was supposed to be three weeks, but it got extended for some reason. Life became all a bit strange after that. You became a bit of a celebrity. You're all over the news. I didn't like all the attention. I didn't want to be known in the world for that. You still got in touch with the show. No, I never did that. I remember getting a knock on the door by this man in a black suit who told me I'd been invited on the show. I recognised him from somewhere. I know I've seen him somewhere before. Any more from the police? Only an eight hundred pound fine for an unlicensed firearm I never owned. I didn't question it though, my mind's all reliable. A huge fine for somebody to even do. I can see why so desperate to leave this world. <laughs> well that's the thing. I never thought I was unhappy. I had a good life. Decent living. Going back to what you said earlier about a man who knocked on your door, we never sent anyone to tell you you'd been invited on the show. Are you sure he was asking you about that? I don't know, but I remember where I'd seen him before. He was standing by my hospital bed, just watching me. He didn't say a word. I thought he was a doctor, but obviously not, because I remember now my oxygen meter suddenly dropped as soon as he walked away. Now I know why I was kept in the hospital for another two weeks. Are you saying there was someone out there to kill you? I don't know. I don't know what anyone can want with someone just committing a simple suicide. I guess I'll never know. Silent man in a black suit. Sounds very government to me. Sliding door in my apartment was left open. I'm OCD about things. Even if I was about to part in this world, I still would have closed it. And I never liked Southern Comfort. Well, that just about wraps up the show. Thank you, thank you to our guest. Thank you to our guest. Thank you to our guest.